a dog. He just threw it up at my house. Well, we're on our way to church. No. Oh, you gotta show me. <laughs> what are you wearing? It's oh, yellow. it's yellow. Do you like my office? Did you make an office? In the shower. So, this is my club stuff. It's a beautiful office. Laura has been reading so much. Is this the current books you're reading? Yeah, I'm on the second one. Great job. Is this your office? Yeah, Laura's helping me. Is she helping you build it? Uh -huh. You have such a nice big sister. Yeah. These kiddos are eating breakfast. Laura and Janae were up like an hour ago though, so you guys <laughs> slept in a bit today. And Elise is really excited about her socks. Yesterday me and mom went to Walgreens and I looked at these socks and I'm like, I need those. I've literally waited six years to buy these socks, this kind. What kind are they? They're no-show socks. Like, when I was four, my friend, no, seven years, my friend showed me these socks and I'm like, I need those. Technically, I didn't, but I really wanted them. And so, like, now I finally have two pairs of them. Did you use your own money to get it? Um... Yeah, and I also used my own money to get something else. Did you write a note to someone? Yeah, this is for Josie who went out on my five-year-old birthday. She's invited. What does it say? Oh, yeah, thank you. Dear Josie, jo dear Josie, you're invited on my birthday. I love you so much. And Laura and all of your friends, one, two, three, four, five, I love you. Be my best friend soon. You guys using your flashlights? Flashlights. You have two flashlights? How do you spell goal? Like goals? G O A L S. Okay, I think you've grown out of the pants since last time you wore them. Yeah, it's been a long time. Isaac asked for the blow dryer. So, what inspired you to blow dry your hair today? That's a first. I don't know. You sometimes blow dry your hair and I wanted to try because my hair is so much longer than usual, so I might as well try when I can. Yeah. There we go. You excited to head to church? Yeah. With COVID here on the island, they have been very conservative and have not had us going back to church until just recently. <laughs> I encouraged Isaac to put on some black socks instead of <laughs> tiny white ankle socks. Yeah. Good choice. Alright, let's see if we can get it on the first try. <laughs> I just need to learn how to do this myself. Yeah, probably. It's gonna be too short. Dang it. Attempt number three. <laughs> getting the length just right. It's not easy. So today while we were getting ready for church, I was thinking of our tornado video when we were oh, trying yeah. to get ready for church. That was so long ago. Probably 2015. Church starts at nine o'clock. It is currently 8.29. Isaac's asleep. Three kids are eating breakfast. Jeremy's not dressed or showered. And you can see me right here. Wait, you I think we can showered. make it? I showered. Oh, you showered? Yeah, when Caitlin was fine. That's you post-showered? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who thinks we can make it? What? Put in your bets. Ready, set, go. Bud, we gotta get ready for church. Yes, he is just in his underwear playing in our backyard. One down, three to go. Yo, wait, you forgot the time. Well, we're just gonna curl the part that's flipping out. We don't have time to curl the whole thing. But then it won't really look nice. It will look beautiful. We're doing the best we can today, okay? Be careful with this ear. Let me not burn your ear. Mm -hmm. It's a legitimate request. Time to get my makeup on. Eee! Time awareness moment. It's <gasps> 8.46. Oh, I got four minutes. I'm good. Ah, I just missed it my mascara. Oh, well, I'm sure it's still good enough. It's like got a little streak up there. It's the cat look. Go get the kids in the car. Okay. The cat look? You just said I have the cat look? You know, there's like an eyeliner cat. Our house is a disaster. Stop filming. We've come a long way in our family 
to getting ready for church on time. Yes, it has been a year since we've done it, but we got out all of our clothes last night. Everybody's pretty ready. I remember back in the day, it was a lot more stressful. I think it helps that our kids are older too. They're able to help more. They can dress themselves. It's amazing. Yes. Yes. Yay. It's working. You ready? Yup. Well, we're on our way to church. Jeremy's driving. And it has been a year since we've been able to go to our church here. It's finally just opened up again. There's lots of safety precautions in place. Um, we're going to be wearing our masks and social distancing. And we're really grateful for virtual church that we've been able to have this last year and for just the chance to be able to worship together as a family. But it feels good to be in the car, all dressed up, headed to church again. So how are you guys feeling? Excited. 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 It's going to be great. Yeah. So cute little Janae just asked a question. She said, wait. We forgot sunscreen. And I was like, Janae, church is indoors. And it made me realize we haven't been indoors, except for in our house, much at all. Lacey, here's your mask. Here's my mask. Nowadays, Laura, adults do you have don't need to wear lipstick. Yeah, I'm wearing it. Go ahead, Nene. Janae has her mask on. Water beads. They look so cool in water. So you can't see the clear ones. They're hidden. Then when you take them out, you can see them. So for lunch today, I'm having some of my leftover salmon from dinner last night, but I made it on a salad and it looks really good. Janae even wants a bite, except for not a bite of the fish. She's not a fan of fish yet. What do you think, Janae? Does my lunch look good? Yeah. No, the, well, not the fish. Not the fish part? But you love salad, don't you? Mm-hmm. Do you want to share it with me? Mm, yeah. I'm finding little tiny ones of these, then swirling around. Then find the big ones. You play them with the water beads? Uh-huh. First you squish them a little bit, then you roll them, then you let them down for a little bit, then you do this. Mom, my dog's sick! <laughs> Give him well potion! Laura and Janae are still deep in play. What is this you've created? A puppy house. A puppy no, house? a puppy doctor. Oh, you're a puppy doctor? Mm. It's like Aunt Emily. Mm. You're a vet. Hi, oh, my dog just got sick. He throwed up at my house. Oh, bring him in at once. It can only fit a person and a dog. But that's okay. You'll, you'll stay out here into the waiting chair uh, and keep the collar with you. Is that stairs? <laughs> Into the yeah, um, <laughs> feeling better quickly. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little hospital. <laughs> <laughs> I hope your dog gets better, ma'am. I'm waiting for my dog. He just threw it up at my house. Oh no, was it chunky? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. It was a juicy one. <laughs> and then he fried it. Alright, dog, how's it looking? Good. She will never throw up again. There you go. Thank you. I would like to have that. I don't ever want to throw up again. Today we're washing a bunch of sheets. This is Isaac and Elisa's sheets. Caleb's are next up. I do a decent job with laundry. I really don't mind laundry. I just kind of do it every day and stay on top of it. But sheets are another story. For some reason, it's hard for me to get into a good rhythm with that. And so my rule of thumb is if you can't remember when you washed your sheets, it's time to wash your sheets. And there's nothing better than that feeling of climbing into your freshly made bed. I really don't mind the actual laundering part. What I don't like about sheets is remaking the bed. Those fitted sheets are annoying. These apparently are all of Janae's children. Are you driving? Mm -hmm. Where are you driving your children? Sorry, Oh, you turned on your music? Where are you driving your children? I'm bringing them to my house. Oh, very nice. Have fun at home with your kids. You can turn back on your music now.
Snuggle time. Mm-hmm. And then work time. Then work time. Gotta clean up. Yes. You guys are gonna clean your office bedroom? Yes. It wasn't a long enough nap oh. for bad breath. I don't know. Pretty bad. After dinner, it's time to get ready for bed, and the little girls were both not excited about getting on their pajamas tonight. So... I decided to play a game that we play fairly often, and it's where I try to guess what they are going to wear, and then they get to surprise me. So I'm gonna guess what pajamas they're wearing, and then we get to see the reveal of what they're really wearing. Let's go get a sneak peek and see what they chose. I like these pajamas. Let me take a closer look and see what's on. Don't say it out loud. Here's what Jenna chose. Don't tell her. Don't tell her. Okay, let's see what she guesses. All right, mom is gonna guess. Okay, I haven't seen them, but I'm pretty sure Laura is wearing her blue Elsa nightgown. No! Oh, can I have another guess? Yeah. Oh, Christmas pajamas. No. Oh, man. Oh, um, wait. wait. Huh? Wait, is it your new pajamas? No. Okay, you gotta just show me. What are you wearing? Oh, it's your <laughs> unicorn nightgown. <laughs> oh, that is soft. Good choice. All right. Janae. Huh? I am feeling like maybe Janae is wearing her long sleeve pajamas that are green. No. Oh, man. Okay, maybe it's a nightgown. Is she no. wearing her purple nightgown? No. Oh, man. <laughs> How about her pink fairy pajamas? No. Oh, you gotta show me. <laughs> what are you wearing? <laughs> oh, no. the yellow ones. Do you know it? Those are the ones that Elise it. and Laura wore. Here's my girls, ready for bed. Did you guys brush your teeth? Yeah. Yeah. Gotta Did you smell really? Their gotta smell, their smell check. I got the bad end of that deal. Did you brush your teeth? <laughs> Smell check. <laughs> oh, we had chicken tortilla soup for dinner. Go brush your teeth. Go brush your teeth. So our family read aloud, we've been working on it for a while because it's a long book, is Anna Green Gables. And I read this when I was a kid and I watched the movie and I've always really liked it. I love Anne's imagination and she just has a really heartwarming character and I feel like funny things happen throughout, so we're reading tonight. I'm really so grateful that Kendra has instilled a love of reading with our kids. And reading those classics does require more of them. In this time when YouTube is so popular and the moment a video gets a little bit long-winded or not as exciting, you can just click onto something else and just that short attention span, I'm grateful that they really have to consider and think and feel and listen for the real gems and nuggets of goodness that are in classical literature. Good night. Do you have sound? So with some friends, we came down to the park to do a glow-in-the-dark Easter egg hunt to end off the night. 